great introduction from Debbie. Uh, last the factory is the Foshan Sushun Da SCM, and we are welcoming our next factory. Our next factory is coming from Zhejiang again, Hangzhou HP Huapu Winner Opto Corporation. Kevin, hello. Hello, hello. Jane. This is Kevin. Can you hear me? Hello, Kevin. Uh, I can hear you very loud and clear. How are okay, you, great. Kevin? Fine, fine. How are you? Hi, thank you. Uh, Kevin, would you like to turn on your camera that uh, we can see you through the screen, please? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait me a second. Ah, uh, don't worry. Okay. Yeah, take your time. Yes. Hi, wow. Hi. <laughs> Handsome boy. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> How are you? Good? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Mm, thank you for your waiting outside uh, outside our chamber for a long time, and thank you for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you, Kevin, would you like to give us a brief introduction of your company, like in 10 or 15 minutes, and you want to show us anything you can show? Thank you. Yes, okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, take you all the friends into our showrooms in the videos. As we can see, yeah, this is a big showroom of our company. Oh, it's quite well designed showroom, much better than mine. Yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Yeah. That's really great. Yeah. What mm -hmm. does yeah, it do? Okay. Yeah. So uh, our company name is HP Winner, and the full name is Hangzhou HP Winner Optical Corporations. And we were founded in 2011 by a, a four founders, actually. Yeah. So till now, this year, we are 10 years experience in these areas, and we have built our own. Uh, factories in Changxing and uh, Huzhou. Actually, we have two uh, separate factories. One is for the assembling lines, and another one is for the die castings. I will introduce a little later. Yes, so uh, right now uh, I'm in front of uh, a board in our showrooms. We call it the HP Rina Phenomenon. Actually, uh, in uh -huh. 2011, yes, we found it. And in 2013, we take the uh, second ramp in the Chinese uh, industry light export companies' rankings. And in 2015, we become the number one. And from the no 2015 till now, we are always keeping the number one in China's export on LED street lights. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, step by steps, we can come to our factories schedules here. Yeah, this yeah. picture shows our two factories scams. Yes, this one, uh, this is our assembling factories, we call it. Uh, we have three buildings. The first one is for the raw materials. And the second one, we call it the assembling factories, which we assemble the whole lamps in that factory. And the third one we put is as, a, as the warehouse which is the deliveries and the trucks and containers will come to these buildings and then all our lamps will send in different countries. Mm -hmm. Yes. And our second factory areas is for the die castings. Uh, actually, in 2018, we started to build our own factories in Changxi. And mm -hmm. these factories yeah, include the die castings, the CNC centers, the powder paintings, and then uh, which from the complete chains from the raw materials to the complete whole ducts. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, from the die casting to the whole lamps, all controlled by ourselves, which we can control product qualities directly. Yeah. And this TV shows uh, our company's introduction videos. And also we are on the CCTV broadcasting yeah, this TV shows right now is introducing our companies. Yeah. Yes. And another TV we can see over here is the CCTV cameras in our factories, which we can see directly. The assembling lines, working statues, the powder painting factories, the CNC centers, and also the die casting factories directly. We can see uh, the workers seeing the assembling lines are very busy. They are assembling the whole lamps and then put into the packages. And then we arrange to the warehouse uh, waiting for the delivery. Yeah, 
Hey, uh, these walls have some great pictures of uh, previous projects we have done overseas. We can see directly from here. The first one we call the G20 Summit in China, which is we uh, replaced the LED street lights in Hangzhou during the G20 meetings. And then it's very a great and meaningful project in Hangzhou. And then it's the roadway uh, project in Brazil. We call it because this way is from the airport to the downtowns and is during the Brazil World Cup. If you like the football games, you will know it very clearly. And then next one is we call it the retrofit lighting projects in Han City in Spain. Actually, this project is the first whole city replacement project in European areas and from these cities. We replace the other cities step by step. And next is there some projects from different countries, Australia, Poland, Germany, Japan, and some uh, high post lighting project in Hangzhou Airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and beside that is some honors and the awards our company already get. Wow. Yes. Fubo. Okay, yeah. Honors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. So after introducing uh, companies, uh, concepts, and some uh, factory areas, I would like to introduce some of our products. Yeah. In front of us, uh, we call it the LED street lights. Yes, so uh, actually our company's uh, products covers four ranges. We call it LED street lights, LED high bay light, LED turn on lights, and LED flood lights. And uh, mainly is the LED street lights. We can see here, we have so many types of LED street lights. Uh, actually, this is designed based on the different customer requirements from different countries. Till now, we have sales our products to more than 115 countries all over the world. And then in front of us is some retrofit cases we can uh, provide to our customers. Uh, actually, this kind of solutions, we can save some money. And also, uh, for example, this kind of garden, garden lights, we call it. And uh, this lampshade comes from the European customers. They want to keep the original uh, cultures. So they don't want to change the lampshade. They just want to change the lighting source. Then we design uh, LED modules and our LED drivers to replace yeah. the traditional LED bulbs. Yeah. And then the whole lamp turned to be a new lamp and more uh, energy efficiency. Yeah. Oh, uh, excuse me, Kevin. <laughs> Sorry yes. to interrupt a little. Uh, can you please uh, keep the your mobile into uh okay yeah sure yeah <laughs> vertical one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's great. It's great. <laughs> Go on, please. Okay. Yes. And then we come uh, before our LED floodlights. We can see uh, we have some different type of LED floodlights. We can see here. From smaller dimensions to big dimensions, we use them in different areas and different positions. For smaller ones, we can use them in some uh, markets, some indoor areas. For big ones, we use them in some sports courts and harbors directly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in front of us uh, is our LED module walls because most of the products are based on LED modules. Uh, actually, we are the first one to take out the LED modules concept. And our LED modules all reach the IP68 water, uh, waterproof yes. levels. Yes, that's right. And next one I would show you is the LED high base. Uh, we can see there are different type of LED high base here. We can call it this type is the UFO. And this kind of the high base actually is very similar with the traditional ones. And this is also the concept that uh, take out by our customers. They want to keep original shape, but they want to be a new lighting source, the LED one. So we just keep the original shape and then changing the lighting source to LEDs. I think uh, last year on GLE, mm -hmm. on the Guangzhou International uh, Lighting yes. Station, uh, mm -hmm. I actually uh, visit, visited you. <laughs> uh, 
Really? <laughs> I, yeah, I met you before. <laughs> Just the, the memory serves, and I feel that <laughs> uh, the Hybei UFO is quite familiar to me. So, uh, wow. I, I just wanted to, a quick question <laughs> to Q1. Yes. One. Uh, yeah, please. So that's last year, the production line is quite mature and um, empowered. And mm -hmm. would you like to share with us, do you have any uh, new technology or new improvement at, uh, based on last year uh, base? The, the, the yeah, production? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, some highlights. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, next one, I would like to introduce uh, one of our uh, new products. Mm -hmm. uh, LED modules, yeah. Oh, In front good. of us, we can see there are four types of LED modules. Yeah, the first yeah. one we call it the prehistoric modules. Okay. Yes. The advantage? Yeah, uh, actually, this is the first version in the market, and uh, actually, this kind of modules is very um, uh, earlier products, which is not very mature, so it has okay. some defects, we can make the improvement. For example, mm -hmm. we can see from the surface, it has some screws on the surface of the PC lenses. Yes. yes. So it's not uh, well uh, waterproofing, actually. Oh, I see. So now it's improved into a waterproof or uh, in empowered. That's Did right. I and sec yes, and second, we can see from the surface of these modules, it don't have the, uh, good durings on the surface. So when we're touching the modules, it's easy to broken our fingers oh, directly. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And then it becomes our first generation LED modules. We call oh. it the M1A series. M1 series. Yes, and we are using luminous uh, Luxon T chips. And also we can call it from the dimension, the 3535 chips. Mm, better than the, yeah. one, than, than the former one. That's right. And you can see, from the LED modules, we don't have the screws on the surface. So then we can make the IP rating to be the IP68. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. And then and after with the LED technology developing, we have the second generation of the LED modules. We are using the 1515 chips. And then we have the M16B LED modules comes out with a high efficiency, which can reach 175.6 lumen per watt. Oh, high efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, that's the high efficiency, and uh, also we're using the 1515 chips. 1515 chips, yeah. Yes, that's right. And we can see there, uh, also on the M1A and M16B, we have the hooks. We I can also call it the clips on the LED modules, the lenses. And then from to, uh, 2020, uh, the previous years, we have the third generation LED modules which we can see directly, we don't have clips on the LED modules. Have... Yeah, we have the clips like this. This oh, is yeah, clips. We, clips. Yeah, we, oh. yeah, this is clips. That one and is from, one piece? Yeah, no. that one is one piece oh, with no right. clips or hooks. So okay. this is a new technology. Wow, I can see. <laughs> see from here, yes. it's a one piece technology. <laughs> yeah, new that's one. Right, yeah. That's right, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a highly uh, new technology which is not widely used uh, till now in the market and um, um, more advantage. Yeah. Have you yes, had the K, mm -hmm. uh, yes, please. Uh, for this CK Max series, the third generation of the module, do you, uh, yes. have you applied for the patent or intelligent property for this? Yes, that's series? right. Uh, till now, actually, uh, from our findings, right now we have uh, applied more than 858 patents with wow. all our products. That's a phenomenon of HP wing. <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> Thank you very totally much. understand that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, by the uh, upgrading and uh, uh, technology developing, we have a different version of LED modules, which can be adapt different using environment, and also we can suit the different customer requirements because in different countries and different areas, the customer's requirements could be different. So. Based on our requirements, we can provide different solutions. We can use the 30 chips, we can use the 5050 chips, and we can use the modules with clips and without clips. Customer optimization. So yeah, we, so we at HP Winner, we call it the smart factories. We can mm -hmm. customize different solutions based on the customer requirements. That's really good for customers. 
Yes. Sometimes they cannot find a standard product, but they want a smart uh, plant or you know, a smart solution, and you can adapt to what customer requires. Yeah, so, yeah that's right. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and in front of us right now is a big fish tank. Yeah, this is very yeah. famous fish tank in fish our tank, companies. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. we can see still some fish inside. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we put our LED street lamps on the waters. Actually, this uh, put on the waters for more than eight years. Oh, eight years? Yeah, eight oh. years, more than. So the yeah, waterproof so is really good. <laughs> less. Yeah, first one, uh, we can see the performance is uh, still very well. And second one, it proves our IP ratings is the very bad, uh, very good performance. Mm. Yes. Is that and a then, grow light yes. or <laughs> no? This is actually it's a street light. Street light, street light. Oh, yes, oh, yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So the waterproof is well proven. <laughs> yes. So uh, the third one actually we prove the safety. We put small fish inside to see, to to show to customers it mm -hmm. is safety. Even we put our lamps on the waters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Oh. This environment that you created, that your company created, is uh, another word is creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually, inspiring. Have, creative. Yes, we are always very critical on our products. We are uh, more than the customer requirements. Mm. Uh, by this way, we can provide the customers the best solutions, and mm. then we can assure the co qualities we provide to our customers at the same time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. Yes, and actually, I designed that. We can see mm -hmm. after the fish tank is a tunnel simulation. We build oh. a small tunnel, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then we put our different models of tunnel lights in these small tunnels. Yeah, and then we can show with our customers. We have two kind of the tunnel installations. We can see mm -hmm. the, uh, one is on the base, uh, both sides of the tunnels. Uh -huh. Yeah, and another function we can put in the middle of tunnels. Yeah. Yeah, and then right now we're lighting up the tunnel lights. We can mm -hmm. see the performance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Wow, this tunnel is another creative <laughs> creation. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah, so uh, after the introduction of the uh, products and uh, and uh, LED modules, I would like to make some uh, another brief introduction of other type of LED lamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the T3030 uh, LED street lamps. We mm -hmm. make it integrate designs. We can see mm -hmm. this is a little different with the ones we just introduced because the previous ones we introduced we, is with this type uh, modules. We can see one, two, three different modules. Then the lamp size is different and the power is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and by this type of uh, LED street lights, we make the whole lamp integrate with the LED modules. By this way, we can save uh, some materials and also we can save the cost for our customers. Some customers, they said, okay, uh, we want the uh, product quality is good, but we also want the price lower. Then we have some um, designs on the LED lamp bodies directly. Mm, great. Yes. And also this kind of lamps, we have the electricity cavities, which we can install like smart controls functions. And also we can use the photo cell sensors. Oh, that's a new product. Yeah. Yeah, that's a new product. Wow. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, yes. uh, see you sing from your introduction. And you are fluent English and uh, well organized introduc uh, introduction thread and thoughts. I think this exhibition hall is fantastic. <laughs> this is just well, thank you very thing. much. <laughs> yes, yeah. actually, uh, mm -hmm. before uh, before the uh, coronavirus, some uh, overseas customers they come to our uh, companies, then they come to our exhibition showrooms. They will say, "Whoa, the showroom is very big and fantastic." Yes, you got like a kernel here and you got a fish tank. <laughs> yes, they like it very much. And after uh -huh. seeing our uh, showrooms and our production lines, they trust our products and they're using the products to win 
some good projects and I like it very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Uh, I see what is the HPA wing uh, phenomenon, and uh, so good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, me too. Nice yeah. to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you. The time flies, and the one year just passed through, and maybe the COVID nineteen is still there, but but we are still improving. They yeah, yes. day by day, year by year. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, Kevin. that's right. Mm, thank you, Kevin. Due to the time limits, and uh, maybe today uh, will be a full uh, introduction of the of your company and the showroom, and we have okay. learned a lot. So next time, uh, will you be on the GLE this year? The uh, yeah, I, I will be on the GLE this year again. Oh, very good. If if uh if I have a chance, I will pay a visit to you. <laughs> to, yeah, to your I'm booth. very looking forward to meet you again. Very looking forward to meet you as well. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Kevin. So see you next time. Thank you. Have okay. a good afternoon. Bye. Yeah, have a good day. Thank bye. You. Bye bye. Thank you, Kevin.